Well, it's been a bit of a bumpy ride for the Niagara Ice Dogs to finally make their way to St. Catharines, but it is now a done deal, and we were there at the official arrival celebrations. Today, we have Dave Brown, who's the general manager of the Ice Dogs, with us to talk about to the team how it got there, where it's going, and uh, first season coming up here. Dave, nice to have you with us on the show. Thanks for having us. First of all, congratulations on making this happen, and it's great to see a, a, an OHL team back down in the Niagara Peninsula once again. Now, this was the uh, Mississauga Ice Dogs prior to uh, the sale and the move to St. Catharines. Is that right? Don Cherry's old team? Yeah, that's correct. This is our. Uh, this is going to be our 10th season in the Ontario Hockey League, and uh, the first nine were in Mississauga, and I guess the first five with Don. Why would a team feel it necessary to move? Were you not getting the kind of support you needed in Mississauga, or was there, there other underlying reasons to move the team to St. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a different situation. Um, Eugene Melnick, uh, who owned the St. Michael's Majors, had purchased our team uh, a year ago, mm -hmm. and uh, at that time was looking to find a more permanent place for the St. Michael's Majors and, and getting a building, um, the Hershey Center being the one that he, I guess they had targeted. Um, in the meantime, he was given Board of Governor approval by the Ontario Hockey League to relocate um, the Mississauga Ice Dogs to a new location. And at that time, um, they, they kind of searched around for, for locations and uh, the Niagara region being one of the areas that the Ontario Hockey League uh, and I guess uh, different ownership groups targeted. And uh, here we are today. Now, you're, you're just making inroads down in, uh, say, Catharines and the Niagara Peninsula with respect to getting support for the team. How's it going so far? It, it's been fantastic. The support has been really good. Um, the uh, season's tickets are somewhere in the neighborhood between eight and 900, and uh, corporate partnership, uh, which, which helps generate uh, our business and, you know, continuing things moving has been really fantastic. It's been fantastic. We've had great uh, response and that sort of thing so far. See, Grapes is still your logo, though, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's been one of those things that uh, that we haven't let die, and you know, it's been different uh, variations of it over, I guess, now ten seasons, but right. uh, it's still there. Now, hockey's always been pretty popular down in St. Catharines, Niagara Falls. They've had OHA teams in the past. Uh, is this is this the first time there's been an OHL team in St. Catharines, Niagara? Uh, no, I, I believe the uh, Fin Cups were, Fin Cups. were there for one season. They used to be, starting yes. here, yeah. yeah. And then they played one season out of there. And then prior to that, I guess the uh, the OHA with the Hamilton or the uh, St. Catharines Blackhawks and uh, Niagara Falls Flyers, Niagara Falls Flyers, yeah. Niagara Falls uh, Thunder, which is now the Erie Otters. I would think that St. Catharines and, and Niagara Peninsula would be a, would be a fairly substantial hockey town based between two fairly substantial NHL teams with the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs and the Buffalo Sabres. Obviously, there's a lot of interest in hockey because there's a lot of uh, ticket holders, season ticket holders for the NHL teams from the area as well. A large portion of the teams that uh, team support in Buffalo is, is from Niagara Peninsula. No, no question. I think, yeah. I think it's, a, it's a huge hockey market. Um, we're definitely a different type of, uh, you know, Different product, brand of hockey. We're a different yeah. brand of hockey. We're, you know, junior hockey. They make a lot of mistakes. Whereas at the at the NHL level, I think there's a lot more, or the the American, even the American Hockey League, a lot more on execution. Our guys do make a lot of mistakes, and I think that's what makes it that much more enjoyable. You know, we're we're kind of a work in progress, yeah. trying to teach them and. Anything can happen at any given moment. No in other question. Words. Yeah. No question. Now, uh, you have some pretty uh, good prospects coming along this year. Uh, your training camp is going to start up at the end of August. And er, um, who who are, are some of the prospects that we can look forward to be seeing perhaps moving up to the big show in the not too distant future? Yeah, I, I guess you know we will start off by our our NHL already drafted players. Um, uh, Matt Crente is, is already signed and drafted by New Jersey Devils. Mm -hmm. um, Luca Caputi is, is uh, dra just drafted by Pittsburgh. Drew Scheistel with the Buffalo Sabres. Stefan Legion with Columbus Blue Jackets. And then, uh, you know, some of our younger players that are, are you know, front and foremost are Alex Petrangelo. And this is Drew we're looking at here now, uh, talking with our Ken Welch. And uh, he's just a, a young fellow who's got uh, just a very, very bright future in the NHL. And we wish him all the best in that end. If he does as well as Mr. Crosby, he'll be looking at several million by the time he hits 20. No no question. I mean, Drew's, Drew's a, a guy that uh, I know real well. I mean, we, we drove together quite a bit. I would pick him up in the morning on the way in and drive him to school. So, Now, what uh, what would you like to say, just in closing, with respect to the Niagara Peninsula, to the folks who are looking at you as, as the new team and uh, the new game in town, and how can they help support you? Well, I, I think just, you know, give that opportunity to come out to the game and uh, come out to the Jack Gatecliff 
and and check it out. I, I I know we won't disappoint. You know, we're our guys work hard every every night. We're we're a team that we we've, we've built around character and heart. And uh, you know what? We're just a, we're just an honest bunch of guys trying to trying to make it happen. So. Well, I would say uh, buy your buy your season tickets early because uh, there's probably more seats coming. But it's not the biggest arena in the league for no, sure. It's... But but uh, if you like more information, you can support your local o OHL team. That would be the Nog Rice Dogs. You can contact them by phone. The phone number is, as you see on the screen there, 905-687-DOGS, which is 3641, or NiagaraIceDogs.net. And uh, at that website, you can get all the information you need about tickets and season's tickets and the team and uh, the game times and dates and all that kind of stuff. Dave Brown, General Manager, thank you for being with us. All the best of luck with the Ice Dogs down in Niagara, and uh, let's hope you get the kind of support you need to make the team go down there. Fantastic. Thanks. All righty. Coming up next on Niagara Express.